you recall. So first of all, I'm going to ask you where and when were you born? Clark County. In Clark County, and what was the date? Uh, April the 4th, 1933. 33. And uh, who were your parents? My dad's name was Andy Thompson. Okay. And your mother's name? Is Emma Tingley Thompson. Okay. Okay. And did you always live then in Marshall? Uh, after I was married, I moved. Okay. We lived in um, South Martinsville. Okay. For about 15 years, and then we moved to, to uh, Vermillion. And we lived there for the rest of the, our married life, or he died. Okay, okay. Um, and and uh, how, what do you remember about the area of where you lived, the neighborhood where you lived? What was it like when you were a child? Well, it was, you were all friendly with your neighbors and, and you visited a lot. Okay. And even if you had to walk. That's mostly the way we went and we walked. Were there lots of neighbors? Well, there was about three of them that lived, or four, lived down that road to south of the Zion. Okay. And, uh, of course, I wasn't very used to all of the kids. That, we went to a country school named Hall School. And they, at the time I got in the sixth grade, there was only three students in the whole school. So they had to bring them into Marshall. Okay. And we went down to the south side of school for a while, two years, and then I went to high school up here. So you did go to high school? Yeah, and I graduated in 1950. Okay. I was in the National Honor Society. Well, that's, that's impressive. What other activities did you remember from high school? Well, and I didn't get to go play sports because my dad wouldn't come and get us. Okay. He said he didn't have money to do it. So we, I, I studied my lessons and best I could, and uh, we had to go walk up to Zion Church, so okay. you get a ride with them. I can't remember her name now, I'm going. She led us out to Zion Church. Okay. And that's, we had to do that, but the last two years of my high school, I got to ride the bus. So there was a bus? Yeah. Um. Well, let's talk about when you were you were growing up. Did you have chores? Oh yes, we had to get the wood in, and all the other things. We liked to shell walnuts and crack them and eat them during the winter. And, and um, we had garden. We canned stuff, and we we had the fun playing in the trees and the water at the creek. Well, let's talk about that. What were some of your favorite play activities? How did you like to play? Oh, well, I liked to, uh, I liked to, you know, word games and things with math in it, too. Okay. I, I, was, I liked school. I started school when I was five, first grade. And, and do you remember ch uh, church activities? What kinds of things did you do at church? And our parents didn't take us to church very much. Okay, okay. I went with the neighbors. Okay, well, what are some of the things you remember with doing with your family? What was your family like? Well, we had family uh, reunions when they kept, one of my older sister lived in Ohio. And then she'd come home. And then the rest of the kids would come over at home for the one day's down there. And a lot of times they'd go much or nothing or, or just get out and play ball or something. Okay. Do you remember other activities you would do when the family got together? Well, we used to go to the fair once in a while. And I don't, I don't remember going too much. Okay, okay. Um, what about meals? Did the families get together for meals? Yes. Mother would have to dress the chickens and get them all ready and we had a big family. Okay. I had five, six, four sisters, but no, five. There's six of us girls and two boys. That's a good-sized family, yes. Yeah. 
So what are some of the things you remember with, with, in playtimes with playing with your brothers and sisters? Well, we used to play jacks. You know, you just, I don't know anymore. You, you, put, you put them down on the floor and then you bounce the ball mm -hmm. and you have to get the mm -hmm. jack. And then and, uh, we listened to the radio a little bit. Dad wouldn't let us listen to it too long because he wanted enough battery left in it to, to watch the gun smoke. Not okay. Gunsmoke, but the, what a Lone Ranger was on. Whatever yeah. westerns were on. Yeah. Huh? Okay, okay. Um, did you remember hobbies you have, things you like to do? Yeah, I embroidered a lot. Did you? I embroidered a quilt even. And uh, I like to cook. My mother worked out in the fields with Dad a lot of times, and I made, they could make the dinner. And so you did the cooking? Not, not too much, though. Just, just, she'd already have it planned out. I'd just watch it and, and straighten up the house mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Um... Did you have a pet? Yeah, we had a pet dog. And a cat. The cats usually stayed around the barn, though. Okay. Okay. And we had bannies, little banny hens. And they'd even, one of them would even sing when you'd pet her. But they're good mothers to the chickens. If, you, if they even have big chickens, then little bannies are good to them. Okay. And then did you marry? Yeah, I married. How did you meet your husband? I was a friend of his sister's. Okay. I went up to see her one day, and I hadn't noticed him before. He went to school south side too. And I hadn't noticed him before, but that day he looked pretty nice. <laughs> so she she kind of arranged for us to get together. She's still my friend. Okay. He's been gone for seventeen years, so. And when did you get married? In August of night of 51. Okay, and did you live around Marshall then? Yeah, I lived in Marshall a year and a half. Okay, and then did you move someplace? Yeah, that's when we moved to Martinsville. You moved to Martinsville, and why did you move to Martinsville? Well, I'd become available, and my husband had to go out to work. I don't know why we picked that place. Okay. But we lived there, and the people that we rented off of were nice people. And then how long did you live in Martinsville? About 15 years. Okay. And then you said you moved to, after that someplace else? To Vermilion. To Vermilion. Okay. And I just sold my house this, that last year. Okay. So you've always lived in Vermilion until yeah. recently. Okay. Okay. Um, and then did you just work around the house or did you have other jobs? I had a job at the restaurant. Uh, I don't know if you remember the restaurant that was there. Oh, it's um, this the west of the Chinese place. There used to be a, a restaurant there. Okay. Can't remember the name of it. Okay. I worked there. I worked there morning and evening shift. I went in the morning early and before the crowd to come in, and then I went back home at one o'clock, and then I come back at five o'clock for the evening. So you had to come in twice. Yeah, and I had to walk where I went, where it's gone ways. Or my house, I stayed with my aunt and paid her a little bit for staying there. Okay, and was that in Marshall? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Um, so you did that like right after high school? Yeah, right after high school. I did a little bit of home work at home for the employment company. Months that it's going to employ me. And then as soon as I got a job, of course, I didn't do that no more. Okay. I got a job at the Holman and Company. You worked at Holman? Holman and Company. Okay, and what did you, what was your job there? I was a secretary to the traffic manager. Okay. But I also did letters for different ones at Holman's because I could take dictation. Okay. And doing that for them. And so but how then, long did you do that? Well, I, I got married and they wasn't supposed to let me work there if she was married. But my boss went and asked him if I couldn't stay. So then then the next year I got pregnant. And so then that definitely put me out. Okay. That's the way it was back then. Okay. So how many children did you have? Well, I had seven all together. Seven? The first one, not the first one, but one of them died the day after he was born. Okay. And 
And my other one, I had to two, six, so that would be four sons and three daughters. Two okay. daughters. And do they all live around Marshall now? No, two of them lives in Marshall. A girl and a boy. One of them lives in Negotian. He works at a regional hospital. And the two that live here in Paris works at Northern Lighting. Okay. I mean, here, it's ain't here in Paris, is it? <laughs> okay. And uh, then I had uh, one daughter is married to a beekeeper. A beekeeper? Mm-hmm. And one son lives in uh, Normal, Illinois. And he he t fixes grain bins. Hmm. Goes about, about half of the state, in the south and north, you know, just for... A lot of for, travel. For, yeah. Okay. I think okay. That's about it. Well, let me ask you some general questions. As you think over your your the history of your life, has there been a particular person or a particular event that particularly affected your life? Maybe somebody you particularly remember. Well, I remember my older sister Edna. She was always good to me. She learned me Bible verses because, like I said, Mom and Dad didn't go. They did, I think, earlier in life, but, uh, and uh, she she was always awake, it seemed like every night if I was scared or something, she was always awake. Well, that's very comforting then, isn't it? Um, let me ask you, as you think about all the inventions that have been created during the time of your lifetime, what modern inventions, what modern conveniences do you think have affected your life the most? No. Okay. Let me ask you another question. If you were talking to somebody who wasn't from here, how would you describe Marshall and why would you tell them you live here? Friendly little town. Okay. What else might you say about it? Uh, it's kept nicely. The yards and things are. Okay. Okay. Well, good. Thank you very much for coming in this afternoon.